Okay, my name is Alexa Becker. I'm the acquisitions editor for this publishing house, Kiera Verlag in Heidelberg, Germany. What is my role as an acquisitions editor? Many German-speaking people ask me that because it's a, a funny term for you know, non-native speakers in English. So my role is to make the first contact with photographers, to seek them out, to find them, to understand their stories and see if, you know, what they present um, fits into our program, basically. I go to several international portfolio reviews each year. I sit on some online juries, um, and I'm here, obviously. And I oversee all our submissions, the submissions that you know you sent in, for example. Um, Cara Valag was founded in 1995. Um, so we're celebrating our 25th anniversary, anniversary this year, which is um, quite remarkable, because as you also know, it's a very difficult, complicated, and wonderful market, the book market. It's pretty unpredictable, actually. Um, what may make us stand out a little bit from the crowd is that Kiera Verlag, the publishing house, works with uh, Kiera Design under one roof. We have uh, designers and image processing experts and people who deal with production of the books. Um, here you see Nicola Nocalzo working with us on his last book, and um, yeah, we're trying to make sure that you get the best, or that photographers and artists get the best results when they do a book with us. We also believe in the quality made in Germany, which means uh, we print and bind our books exclusively in Germany. Um, we're on press together with the artists um, and overlook the whole, um, you know, the whole um, printing process. We also host a showroom in Berlin together with other publishers um, to, you know, for you to see and browse through our books while having a coffee in Berlin. Because many people go to Berlin, obviously not so many go to Heidelberg, where actually where we're based. And you can find us and our books also on various international photo festivals and fairs like Paris Photo, Photo London, and Arl, just to name a few. Okay, what I also wanted to um, explain is what kind of topics um, are important to us. We have a very broad range of subject matters in our program. We also started out as a, a fine art publisher, actually, and by now we're considered pretty much a photo book publisher, which is fine with us because it's our passion by now. Um, but we also have um, a passion for let's say, um, difficult subject matters that are socially irrelevant and that we believe should be books um, because they need to be addressed and they need to be out there more than 24 hours. So you may have come across this book. It's war porn by um, photojournalist veteran uh, Christoph Bangert who covered war zones in Afghanistan before um, Iraq, and um, with this book he posed himself several inconvenient questions. For example, does the photographer exploit his subjects? Um, what about censorship by the media, but also what about self-censorship? And last but not least, he also addresses his, um, the Nazi past of his grandfather in, his, in this book. Um, here you can see um, the design of the book. Um, it's in Japanese binding, and usually, well, Japanese binding, you know, the, the pages stick together and there's a room in between. Here we have the case that you can slit those pages open with a knife, for example, and in between those pages in this room is another image that you can look at. You decide whether you want to check it out, open it, and, and look at some more cruelty, basically, or you can decide whether not to do this. So here we have the self-censorship um, topic. Yeah. Um, another example of books um, we really like is um, Jess Dugan's so To Survive on the Shore. Um, she's an American photographer who um, traveled with her partner throughout the US and um, interviewed older um, transgender and gender non-conforming adults. And she was listening to their stories and because back then, you know, these are kind of the first generation people who 
came out to the public with their otherness and confronted their families and colleagues and, you know, the world, basically. Um, and, um, yeah, she, she listened to all those stories and collected them. And while we now have a much, much more tolerance um, for a gender identity back then, it was a totally different issue and it was, it was much harder. And, um, yeah, it's very, it's very moving stories. And I hope this book will also help to further, you know, broaden our understanding and our tolerance towards um, gender identity and um, our diversity um, as human beings. Um, this book isn't published yet. Um, it's still here by Vivian Rutsch. She's a very young photographer. She's just finishing her master thesis in Dortmund. And still here is about a very personal story. It's about her losing her sister. She died when she was 17. Her father died as well shortly thereafter. And there is sexual abuse in the family. And um, the deaths of her sister and her father remained unresolved, which um, caused her to do some research. And she found out that um, every second unclear death in Germany remains unresolved, which is quite shocking. So in this book, she explores her personal story, but of course addresses also um, topics that are of general interest, like um, you know, unresolved deaths and how do we deal with the loss of close people close to us, family members or not. And um, yeah, this summer we're going to be in Arles again. If you want to pop in our temporary bookstore and gallery, feel free to do so. Browse our books and say hi. Thank you so much for your attention. Thank you.